Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. The 76 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam. And today we're going to focus on two topics. There are constructions and look out. Well, they're kind of linked together actually. So constructions, there are things such as your angle by sector, your perpendicular by sector, things like that. And then loci is when you maybe you're given a situation, you've got to find a suitable region or position which might satisfy certain rules. So that's constructions and loci. So I really like constructions and loci. Before I get started, I just want to recommend that you make sure you've got your pairs of compasses or your compass or pairs of compasses. And and you make sure that you've got your pair of compass and you bring it to all your lessons uh, because obviously you don't know when you might be in class doing some past papers and there might be a construction or a loci question in there and you're going to need that compass for that question so make sure you've got it make sure it's tightened so here this one's not sort of just fallen down so make sure it's tightened and and you can use it make you know have some practice drawing circles and make sure you're confident using your compass but it's important that you've got it to all your lessons from now up until the exam i've got a couple of them just because and the certain ones that i prefer okay let's get started so let's have a look at our first construction so the first construction we're going to look at is the perpendicular bisector so here we've got a straight line a b and we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line a b so we're going to need our compass and our pencil and make sure your compass is tight and it's secure and also you're going to need a ruler or a straight edge or something to then join up some points so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our compass and we're going to put the point of the compass on the end of the line a and we're going to set the compass and the pencil so that's over halfway of the line as you can see here this is over halfway of the line then what you're going to do is you're going to draw an arc so you're going to draw an arc like so and that's our first arc like so and then you're going to get your compass and your pencil and you're now going to move it to the other side now keep it the same size that's very important that you keep your compass and pencil set to the same size and you're going to put the point of the compass on b now so on b and you're going to draw another arc so like so and again it's very important you keep it over halfway and it's going to go like so so as you can see those two arcs intersect here and here and if you get your ruler and pencil and join those two points up that will be the perpendicular bisector that's the line that'll cut a b in half at 90 degrees so get my ruler and pencil and I just draw through those intersection points where the arcs intersect and that line there that we've just drawn is the perpendicular bisector it crosses a b at 90 degrees and it cuts a b exactly in half and that's it so that's the perpendicular bisector okay now let's have a look at the angle bisector so we've got an angle a b c that's an acute angle and we're going to construct the angle bisector so again you're going to need your compass and pencil and you're going to need a ruler so get your compass the point of your compass and put it on b and set the pencil so that it's you know a fair distance away from B, but it's not too far and it's not too close. So I, I'm going to choose somewhere like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw an arc that intersects with the line AB, so like so. And we're going to draw another arc that intersects with the line BC, like so. So we've drawn two arcs. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass and pencil, and I'm going to put the point of the compass on where the arc and the line intersect. I'm going to do another arc over this way somewhere, so towards the middle of the angle. And likewise, I'm going to put the point of the compass on where this arc crossed BC and do another arc towards the middle. And as you can see, those two arcs intersect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a ruler and pencil and we're going to join B up with where those two arcs intersect, like so. And now we have bisected that angle. So if, for instance, that angle was 40 degrees, that part would be 20 degrees and that part would be 20 degrees. So we've constructed the angle bisector. OK, so the next construction I'm going to look at is constructing the perpendicular to a line that passes through a particular point. So again, you're going to need your pencil and your compass. And I'm going to set my pencil on compass. I'm going to put the point of the compass on C. And I've just set the compass that size so that I can do an arc here. And I can do an arc over here. So I've drawn two arcs that cross the line AB. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my pencil and compass the same size. And I'm going to put the point of the compass on where the arc and the line intersect. And do an arc below the line. And I'm going to keep it the same size again, and I'm going to put it on where the arc intersected near B. And again, I'm going to do an arc below the line. Now to construct that line that's perpendicular to AB and passes through C, all we need to do is get our pencil and draw through the point C and where those two arcs intersect, so like so. So that line is perpendicular to the line AB, it's at 90 degrees to the line AB, and it passes through the point C. Okay, so let's have a look at our next construction. So next construction is to construct a line that's perpendicular to AB and passes through this point C. So we're going to get a compass and pencil. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw two arcs on this line. And we're going to make sure they're the same distance away from C because then we can do the perpendicular bisector of those. And that'll be at right angles to AB and pass through the point C. So let's do that. So I'm going to say that here's so our arc's going to go through the point B. So like so. And then I'm going to keep it the same size and I'm going to do an arc on the other side like so. So those two arcs there and there are the equal distance away from the point C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the point of the compass on where the arc and the line intersect. I'm going to set it over halfway. I'm going to do an arc above, like so. 
and arc below like so. Keep the compass and pencil the same size now. I'm going to go to the upper side. I'm going to put it on B. And I'm going to do an arc below and an arc above like so. Now if I get my ruler and pencil, I can draw a nice straight line that goes through where these arcs intersect, the top and the bottom, and also the point C. So like so. And that's it. So that line would be at right angles to AB, and it passes through the point C. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next construction. So this construction, I like this one. It's the construct an equilateral triangle with side length five centimeters. Well, I can actually be an equilateral triangle of any side length. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our compass and our pencil. Now, a line's actually been drawn for us in this question, which is quite nice. That line is five centimeters long. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my compass and pencil, and I'm going to set the point of the compass on one end of the line and the pencil on the other. Now, if that line wasn't drawn for me, what I could do is get my ruler and pencil and measure it so that this is five centimeters apart, the point of the compass and the pencil. Because it's been drawn for us, I know the line's five centimeters. So I can now just draw an arc above the line, like so. So all of these points are five centimeters away from the end of the line here. Now, if we switch it over and do it on the other side, so put the point of the compass on the other end of the line and the pencil here and do another arc, you'll see those two arcs intersect here at this point here. This point here is five centimeters away from here, and it's also five centimeters away from here. So if I get my ruler and pencil and join up here to here, from here to here, this will be an equilateral triangle. So let's do that. And that's it. So this is an equilateral triangle where this side is five centimeters, this side is five centimeters, and this side is five centimeters. And if you've got your protractor, you can measure this angle and be 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. And that's it. Okay, so we've looked at constructions. Now let's have a look at loci. So these are going to be some rules that we have to follow whenever we have to show particular regions or positions of points. So it says draw the locus of all the points that are two centimeters away from the line below. So we want to draw all the points that are two centimeters away from that line. So let's get a ruler and pencil to begin with. And I'm going to start above the line and I'm going to draw, I'm going to plot some points that are two centimeters above the line. So I'm putting the line at zero and I'm going to just go to the end of the line here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do a dot of two centimeters here. And then if I move my ruler across, I can do another one here. And I can move my ruler across and I can do another one here. And I can go to the end of the line and do another one here. And if we kept doing this, we would get a straight line. So let's get a ruler and we'll join up those points. And that line, all the points on this line are two centimeters away from the line. The line's directly two centimeters below it. Now we're going to do the same for below the line. So here's two centimeters from zero to two. So two centimeters below the line there. And we're going to do two centimeters below the line here. And let's go to the end and do two centimeters below the line there. And if we carried on, you'd get a nice line that looks something like this. And we're trying to find all the points that are two centimeters away from the line. So we've done the points that are above the line and the points that are below the line. But what about the points that are two centimeters away from this point? Now, if we've got our ruler and pencil, we could draw two centimeters over here, 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 here. And you'd end up with a semicircle with a radius of two centimeters. And the same for this side as well. So let's get our compass and pencil and let's set it so it's two centimeters. So there's two centimeters. So we're going to get the compass and we're going to put the point of the compass on the line. And if we draw a semicircle, it looks something like that. So we've got a straight line above, below, and then the semicircle. Okay. And um, it's not necessarily the best one because I'm sort of trying to lean over the camera here. And likewise on this side, and that's it. So we've got a semicircle on this side, a semicircle on this side, a line that's two centimeters above and two centimeters below. And all of those points will be two centimeters away from the line. So all these points are two centimeters above, all these are two below. And all these points are two centimeters from the end. And that's it. So we've drawn the locus of all points that are two centimeters away from the line below. Okay. So let's have a look at another question now. Now, sometimes with loci, you're given this particular situation. So here we've got a boat and it's within eight miles of the point A. So perhaps this is a port or a harbor or something. And it's within five miles of the point B. And we've been asked to show the possible positions of the boat. So here we've got the land. So all of this is the land. And down here is the sea. So down here is the sea. And we're to show the possible positions of the boat. Now, one thing to notice here, we've got a scale that one centimeter equals one mile. So this five miles on the map would be five centimeters. And this eight miles on the map would be eight centimeters. So the boat's within eight miles of A. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our compass and our pencil, and we're going to measure eight centimeters. So that's eight centimeters, which is eight miles in real life. But on this map, it's one centimeter is one mile. And we're going to put that on the point A, and we're going to put it over here to where the land is. We're not going to do the land. We're going to go to the, where the land and the sea meet, and we're going to do an arc like so. Now, because the boat's within eight miles of A, it means the boat's in here somewhere. Okay. Now, it also says the boat's within five miles of B. So we're going to get a compass and pencil, and now we're going to measure five centimeters. So that's five centimeters there. So we're going to put the point of the compass on B, and we're going to draw another arc like so. And I'm just stopping at the land there because I'm presuming the boat's at sea. If I was writing this question, I'd probably would give a bit more information. And we're to shade the possible positions of the boat. So that's going to be, well, it's within eight miles of A. So it means it's in this circle somewhere. 
and it's within five miles of B. So this region in here is within eight miles of A and five miles of B. So it means the boat's in here somewhere. So let's shade that in. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at some constructions. We've looked at some loci. I highly recommend the practice questions for both of these today because yes, you've watched me do them, but it's actually really useful to be able to do them yourself. So to be using your compass, using your ruler and pencil and so on, and be making sure that you're getting those uh, construction questions and loci questions right. So I highly recommend the practice questions today. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to do the perpendicular bisector. So obviously setting the pencil over halfway, doing an arc on one side, turning around, doing an arc on the other side, and join it up. We looked at the angle bisectors and we looked at some other constructions. And then obviously we looked at applying those, particularly in the topic of loci. So those sort of positions and regions that satisfy certain rules. So I really hope you found this video useful. As I said, it's important that you've got your equipment to make sure, particularly those compasses that you've got them to your lesson and that you're, you're happy with how tight it is. If you need it tightened, perhaps your teacher can help you. They might have the tools to tighten it in class. Um, but that's it. So I really hope you found this video useful. There's 76 days to go. So tomorrow will be 75 days to go into your GCC MAV exam. So tune in at three o'clock and uh, hope you find that video useful as well. So thank you. Cheers. Bye.